My name is Mateus Clement. I'm a content producer and video editor. And I've come to realize that in our day-to-day -day lives, we sit at a computer a whole hell of a lot. And when it comes to our mice and our keyboards, we don't think a lot about how we interface with those. But now that I have a couple of new mice and keyboards, I kind of wanted to show you how you can like have a way more productive time and a much more ergonomic time at your computer to make sure that you're super productive, but also uh, really comfortable. Let's look at that. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about mice and keyboards, but I'll talk about a few other things about sitting at your computer a lot. So here's a keyboard that I got off Amazon. It was 50 bucks. It's a low profile keyboard. That makes it so that your wrist actually sits on the desk a lot easier and then typing is a lot easier. This is similar to the Apple keyboard. It's not quite as clicky. Uh, this brand is called Artec and uh, really great wireless and just low profile. It makes it really easy on the wrist. The next thing I have here is a Logitech uh, G502. And the reason I specifically use this one is the number of buttons it has and the number of functions. So you can program all the buttons on this mouse. So what happens is you got three uh, buttons on the side. You got two right here in the arrow configuration. You have one here, but it's super not functional. Then your standard two mice and then your scroll wheel, you can actually click in the middle and you can also move it left and right. So when I use this mouse on my day-to-day -day productivity, what I do is like a lot of web browsing and a lot of documents. So what I do is I do back and forward on my web pages here on the side mice. And then that third button right here where my thumb is, I actually make that the enter button. And the reason I do that is because these two top buttons here, I make them copy and paste. And so that way when I copy paste something into a web browser, I can just hit enter without having to go over to my keyboard. So that may seem like a really small thing, but as you come to realize uh, with quite a bit of office work, doing that copy paste and enter function and not having to go to your mouse, or I mean go to your keyboard, is really important. The other thing that I've done is for the mouse, if you click by default, the software will make it so that you uh, press the middle mouse and that'll open a link in a new tab. And so that's really handy. And then what happens is when I click it left and right, if you can hear that, what happens is I actually have it. So it switches my tabs for me in Chrome. So you actually have to program that yourself, but that makes going between your tabs really, really easy. So then that makes it so that I don't have to go over to my keyboard every single time. So that's the most I use. This one's wireless. It's crazy expensive, $200. Uh, the wired version is about a hundred bucks and it will last forever because it's a gaming mouse and the buttons are just rated to take a bazillion clicks. And so the ergonomics are really good. I just like the wireless because I'm on it so much that that little bit of mouse cord drag does actually add up for me. Over here, I have the Logitech G13. It looks like it's really complicated, but it's actually really easy. It's a gaming keyboard pad, technically, but I find it for the day-to-day -day productivity I do, as well as my video editing, it's super handy. So the big part is that when you're sitting here at the desk, instead of your hands coming into the keyboard, what happens is you have your left hand here, your right hand on your mouse, and then that keeps your shoulders uh, a nice, comfortable distance apart instead of being hunched over a keyboard. So on this, you have 22 programmable keys. You just kind of naturally sit. There's little divots inside of the keys to let you know where you're sitting. And so by uh, default, I'm in the center. So I'll give you a few examples of what I've programmed this to do and why it's really important. So down here, this is spacebar. That way I can go through web pages really quickly instead of having to scroll with my finger on a mouse. This is home so that I can get back to the top of the web page right away uh, without having to scroll a million more times. This joystick, I programmed it very specifically for YouTube, whereby left and right will will act like the arrow keys of left and right so you can skip through a video because I watch a lot of YouTube videos while I'm learning content. But then if I go up and down, what up does, it actually increases the speed of the video so that I can get all the way up to two times speed because quite often I'm just looking for something and that's kind of how I watch my YouTube videos. Then from there, some handy keyboard shortcuts that I've done. I'll try and do this overhead. So for example, this uh, is already programmed as F. So what happens is full screen YouTube. Then I have my volume up, volume down, and mute. 
And then from there, I have this button right here where my thumb rests as close a tab, uh, which I just did. <laughs> um, so that'll close the tab in a browser. That's really handy. And then from there, this is escape because I'll use that to get out of full screen sometimes or out of something else. And so that's just like when you're on YouTube and such, it's really handy uh, to be able to close your tabs often. And like I said, with being able to use the G502, when you click the middle of the scroll wheel, you open a tab in a new window, then you're able to click it left and right so that you can switch between your tabs. When you're done watching that tab, you can just close this. And so I just try and automate as much of that as possible. Uh, those are the main keys that I have programmed for day-to-day -day applications, uh, such as web browsing. And uh, one of my favorite things I've learned recently is actually to use the Windows Dictate. And so I've actually programmed G4. So what I can do is I can hit this, and if you listen, now what happens is that I start to dictate without having to type. And while this isn't perfect, I can go back and do the edits afterwards, but it allows me to write out an email way faster and not have to worry about typing on a keyboard all day long.